Where has Ryan shown the most progress and improvement? I, I would say his, his, his footwork. Uh, he's done a really nice job of, of, of being on balance uh, in the pocket, trusting his protection. Uh, and I think, you know, that comes with understanding his protection, understanding where the issues are, and being able to sit in that pocket and, and be calm. Uh, he's been very, very accurate uh, up to this point today. I don't know the, don't know the numbers for today. Uh, you know, we, we had a, several drops, and we had a few guys out, out today uh, with some, some nagging things. Uh, but I would say his footwork, his accuracy, and I've been real impressed with him, you know, in the meeting room. Uh, how, sh how sharp he is, how smart he is, how, come, how he comes in prepared uh, before the meetings, before we even go on the install. He's taken the time and looked at it. But uh, he has arm talent. Uh, you know, he's athletic enough. I wouldn't call him, you know, an athletic, uh, a dual threat quarterback, but he's athletic enough to move around the pocket and make some plays. With that, Mike, I mean, would you prefer that he be just a little mobile to, you know, just not be a statue back well, there? Well, I think that's, that's the day's game. I mean, you can't have – you know, it's hard to play, you know, with your statue back there unless you're just on top of everything. You know, the offense like the back of your, you know, your hand uh, and able to execute at a high, high level. Uh, but being able to move uh, helps, you know, avoid bad plays and uh, negative plays. And, you know, it just, you know, sometimes it makes you a better coach when that guy can move around back there a little bit. Have you gotten to know him? Have you been able to conclude anything about how mentally tough he is? Given what he went through last year. Uh, now we've we've talked a little bit about uh, you know you know the position you play uh, and you know now you know you're the guy and you know everybody's going to be looking at you and they're always going to think about somebody behind you is is better than you are uh, and you know you got to be one of the mentally toughest people on the team uh, you know your body language has always got to be good you're the leader you know of the offense and hopefully you know one of the leaders of the team. Uh, but that's you know that's something we're going to gain you know mental toughness through practice too. I coach them pretty hard, uh, so if they can handle practice, they'll be able to handle the game.